Hi everyone, Brian from Witch Doctor here. Um, we're going to do a test on the difference between electronic and manual powder dispensers. Uh, these manual powder dispensers are highly prevalent among short range bench rest competitors or bench rest shooters. Um, they basically offer a very fast ability to drop your charge and uh, make your bullet basically all you do is take a prepped case go it under here go up down and then your powder comes in and you're charged so just as fast as you can go up and you go down a little bit slowly so it doesn't drop all the powder at once and slowly dispense the powder but you can have powder completely charged in the case within uh, 10 seconds pretty easily um, powder throwers there's different types out there uh, the two that I have here on display, um, this one is called the Matchmaster RCBS. Um, this one could measure to the kernel of Varget, basically. Um, it's uh, very precise. Uh, there are also custom settings that you can input to make it throw really fast. So I can throw uh, 32 grains of Varget to within one kernel of Varget in less than 20 seconds with this, with special settings. Uh, and then you have uh, the IntelliDropper here, Frankfurt Arsenal. Um, and this one is less precise, um, but it throws to, you know, roughly 0.1 um, grain. Uh, and so my question here is, you know, is, is powder dispensing going to be superior to powder throwing with a high quality powder thrower within a short range bench rest context? So I'm looking at only 100 and 200 yards. Um, a lot of people will say, well, at 100 yards, you can have a lot of variability in your powder throw. By a lot, I mean maybe 0.1 grain in either direction, too high or too low. Um, when you're shooting long range, though, you definitely want to be within a kernel for all your loads. There's previous data that's already been published by Brian Litz. Um, check out his books uh, that says you really need to be very precise down to the kernel if you're going to shoot long range, which for me is uh, 600 yards or beyond. Um, if it's less than that, uh, something like this, the IntelliDropper, it works perfectly fine. So uh, really what I'm doing is let's see if a high quality manual thrower uh, can outperform an electronic dispenser at short range, 100 and 200 yards. So what I ended up doing was taking that Bat Nouveau rifle that you see in a lot of my tests and developing a load for 100 yards, which was 29.6 grains of N133 using Paul Perowski's Patriot bullet. Again, I've been using this bullet with testing lately. It's a very good bullet um, developed by Paul Perowski. You can get it at uh, Bruno Shooter Supplies under RPR Custom Bullets. Uh, for 100 yards, the best Load was 29.6 grains of N133, seeded 13 thousandths off the lands. For 200 yards, I developed a 200 yard load, which was 29.7 grains, uh, seeded 1, 000, uh, 11 thousandths off the lands. Um, both those loads showed good for their respective yardage. Uh, and so what I ended up doing was, in order to get a direct comparison between this high quality manual powder thrower and my IntelliDropper, is I changed the settings here on the manual and found settings that were that got me very consistent throws at 29.6 and 29.7 and I threw them into this pan and measured it on this scale. So I basically matched the weight. Even though this is a volume thrower, it throws by volume and turning this changes the volume. Um, I can adjust the volume to get me 29.6 or 29.7, weigh it on here, and then it shows 29.6 or 29.7. Um, and I'm able to get very consistent loads that way so that uh, a certain setting on here will get me 29.6, and then I can put 29.6 on here, and those loads would be direct comparisons. They'd be the same. I can set this to get 29.7 throw it in here and it would be 29.7 and then I would dispense powder to 29.7 using this and it would be the same um, as this manual thrower. So let's take a look at the results. For 100 yards, 
this is the target here. I is for IntelliDropper, T is for Thrower, the manual thrower. And if you look at it, I loaded five shot groups for five different sets of five shot groups. And there you go, the top is the IntelliDropper and the bottom is the manual thrower, high quality manual thrower. On this one here, you can see a notable flyer uh, that could have been could have been a mistake uh, somewhere along the way. Not sure, but it's a notable flyer. It's 0.449 is the size of that group with the flyer. Without the flyer, it's 0.1, so it's very small. When you look at the aggregate of the data, you find that the electronic dispenser, um, the demonstrated a velocity with this powder charge at 100 yards of, I think it was 29.6, yep. Uh, the velocity was 33.72, for the manual it was 33.74. So they were basically, the velocities were the same. There was no statistically difference between the two. Same thing with standard deviations. The electronic thrower had a total of 11.22 on average for all five of the five shot groups. Uh, manual had 9.56. That was not statistically different. Uh, group sizes were not statistically significantly different. Electronic, though, did have a 0.268, and manual had a 0.3356. So if you removed that flyer, though, because I was wondering about that, let's just say that was a mistake on my part or an unseen condition, all of a sudden there was a downdraft and it popped that bullet low, what would the results have been? Um, the aggregate for the manual would have been 2658, which is extremely similar to the electronic one. So removing the flyer made them almost identical. By having the flyer though, um, although it was not statistically significantly different, the manual still had a 0 0.3356, the electronic had a 0 0.2682. Um, looking at 200 yards, the different load there, we had, remember, it was a different load. It was 29.7 of N133 and 11 thousandths off the lands, not 13. And the ones on the left are the Intelli dropper, and the ones on the right are the manual thrower. Okay, so some pretty large groups in there. Um, the velocities were the same. Electronic showed a 3382.8, manual showed a 3388.3. Standard deviations were the same. Electronic was 12.93, manual was 13.68. However, the group size was statistically significantly smaller with the electronic powder thrower versus the manual. The electronic had a 0.2913 aggregate for all of the five shot groups. The manual had a 0.4955 aggregate for the five shot groups, and that was statistically significant. So the electronic did have a lower group size at 200 yards. So in conclusion, at 100 yards, the use of a high quality manual thrower, you know, is probably gonna produce the same outcomes as an electronic thrower. Um, so at that yardage, it's recommended that you can use either of those. However, at 200 yards, the electronic powder dispenser is likely to outperform the manual thrower. And therefore an electronic dispenser is recommended at that yardage. Thank you everybody for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share.